So you're hitting chip shots. Some of them are on the toe, some of them are on the heel. Every once in a while, it's in the middle of the face. What is going on and what is causing this inconsistency in the contact? We've come to the right place, because I'm gonna show you something called swing direction and how it relates to chipping that I guarantee you've never heard before. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Kolb, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And hitting good chip shots around the green has to do a lot with contact. But I get a lot of students, this might be you, and they're hitting them too close to the heel or too close to the toe, and they don't know what is going on. So let's talk about that. So first of all, before we dive into that, let's talk about where the ball should be positioned. And then we're gonna talk about this concept of swing direction and how it, how it plays into it. So, because a lot of you struggle with contact because you got the ball in the right spot. So here we go, I've got a, got a golf ball, I'm gonna chip it to this hole right here, you can see it down the line there, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my golf club I'm chipping with, I got a 58 degree here, I'm just gonna point it at the target, and I'm gonna take my alignment rod here, and I'm gonna match it up to form a T with my golf club, so that I now know that this alignment rod is straight out from the golf ball relative to my target line, you can see how I did that. Now. If you're hitting a lot of shots on the heel, it could be because you have the ball too far back in your stance. Anytime you move the ball back in your stance, you might be prone to getting the heel there first. Okay, this could be true for full shots as well. So if you're hitting them on the heel, take a look at the ball position. If you're hitting them on the toe, it could be because the ball is too far forward. Okay, so where should it be? You might be asking yourself, all right, Todd, where should it be? center of the heels. That's where it should be. So that's why I put this alignment rod down here. Notice how my stance is slightly open to the target. Here's my target line. Stance is slightly open, aimed left for me, right-handed golfer. And the club though, excuse me, the alignment rod is in the middle of my heels. Now from this position, the ball's in the right spot. Okay, good solid contact. You can see the grass mark there, right in the middle of the face. So that's the first place you're gonna look. Now, the second place, and I guarantee you probably never heard anybody else talk about this before, and that is swing direction. All right, so here's what I wanna talk about. When we're talking about swing direction, we're talking about the direction that the club swings, okay? The club can swing three different directions. This is not complicated, it might sound like it, but bear with me. The club can swing, okay, straight back and straight through. See that? It can swing around or in to out, Okay, or it can swing out to in. See the three differences there, right? So how does that impact where I hit the club, excuse me, where the ball hits on the club face? Well, if you swing the club too far inside, okay, here we go. Now, I'm gonna preface this by saying four to the right, because this could go to the right. My man, my man Nick there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back up a little bit because I don't want him getting hit, right? But if I send this club too far inside, around, Okay, notice number, you can see where I hit? I hit behind it, right? So when you swing the club too far to the inside, number one is you hit behind it, because it moves the bottom of the swing backwards, but you also expose the heel. If I was to do the opposite, I swing it too far out, I'd be prone to swinging it on, or excuse me, hitting it on the toe of the golf club. So where do you want to swing it? Well, you want to swing it straight back and straight through. So here we go, I'm gonna take a coin, and what I'm gonna do for this, I'm gonna take two coins. Two pennies. Now, generally, I like to do this with a golf tee, but I got pennies here today, they work. Remember this line right here that we created, point out the target line? I'm gonna put that down there again, okay? And I'm gonna take one penny, I'm gonna put it on the end of the club there. Like I said, typically I might use a tee, but I can see the penny for today's purposes. And I'm gonna take the other penny and put it in front. That's my straight line. Okay, so when I'm set in here, when I make practice swings, I wanna see the club head work over the back penny and then over the front penny. That will help me guarantee that I'm swinging the club on the right direction. So here we go, center contact. That's what I'm striving for. Ball in the center of my heels, okay? Swing the club over the penny, over the penny, boom, popped out, right on line. So if you're hitting them on the heel, or you're hitting them on the toe, try these couple concepts out and I guarantee that ball contact will move more to the center of the face.